The government is holding a session in Gunya today to mark one year since the area was hit by catastrophic flooding. Ministers are giving reports on recovery measures implemented in the Vukovar and Srem County. Reconstruction of houses for people hit by the flooding is being financed through money collected for legalization of illegally built houses and buildings. The effort is expected to be completed by mid-August and the cost of reconstruction has been put at 450 million kuna. MP and former Science and Education Minister Gvozdan Flego has sent to SDP presidency members an internal document titled SDP Programme Manifesto, which outlines a proposal of changes to the SDP's political course, pushing it more towards the left. The document represents the first formulated criticism of the way the party is currently being led. The trial of former Yugoslav Secret Service agents Josip Perković and Zdravko Mustač for their role in the murder of Croatian emigre Stepan Đurekovic in 1983 is continuing in Munich. Petar Penava, a member of the Croatian emigre circles at the time, is testifying today. Turning to the arts, Zagreb's Kerempuk Theatre showed the staging of Hamlet in the village of Mrdusha Donja satire for the 50th time last night. The play's author is one of Croatia's most successful dramatists, Ivo Brešan. The play has received several awards and has been staged by the author's son, Vinko Brešan. Since its opening night in June of last year, the play was seen by more than 25,000 theatre lovers. And in sports, in the 12th round of play of the Croatian Basketball League, Cedevita has beaten Kvarner in Zagreb 90-58, while Zagreb has beaten Zabok on its own turf 71-62. And today, Zadar is playing Tibona and Šibenik is playing Alkar. And the weather, mostly sunny afternoon, cloud build-up expected in the evening in the northernmost parts of the country. Some rain and thunderstorms possible in Međimurje, Hrvatsko Zagorje, Podravina and Baranja. Light to moderate westerly and southwesterly winds along the coast, southeasterly in the northern section of the coast. Sea calm to slight and visibility very good to excellent. Daily highs mostly of between 23 and 28 degrees. Changeable weather with intermittent precipitation and thunderstorms in the coming days, particularly on Friday. Winds to turn to northwesterly, southeasterly as of Friday. Cooling off particularly over the weekend. Sunshine still lingering on Thursday, accompanied by southwesterly and southeasterly winds that will gain force on Friday, where there'll be a cloud buildup. More are expected on Friday evening on the northern coast. Showers possible mostly on Saturday, but also towards the end of Friday on the northern coast.